guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial and I'm using a brand new eyeshadow palette by Minted Cosmetics and this is what the palette looks like. So if you're not familiar with Minted Cosmetics, they are a black owned business and they sell a lot of nude lip products. I've actually mentioned and shared a couple of products from this brand in the past. I have some of their lipsticks and I also have some of their lip glosses. So recently they just came out with their very first eyeshadow palette and they call it their everyday eyeshadow palette. So if you don't like a lot of colorful shadows, and you like to stick with those you know those everyday colors those warm neutral you know the everyday colors and this palette is perfect for you so they recently sent this over for me to test out and of course share it with you guys I've actually been testing this out the past one to two weeks and I have been wearing it to work you know seeing how the shadows wear all day so when I received this in the mail I could not wait to test it out so I did not do a first impression on this palette I wanted to test it out right then and there and I've been wearing these shadows for the past week going on two weeks now and I just wanted to share it with you guys for those of you who are looking for a good everyday eyeshadow palette with all of your warm tones a couple of metallics and all of those good you know everyday colors so the look that I have on my face right now is from this palette I'm gonna be doing some swatches with you guys so you guys can see how they swatch on the skin how they look the pigmentation and just how beautiful these shadows are in general so um, I will open it up really quickly for you guys but we will be getting more into depth with the shadows in a minute but this is what it looks like once you open it up so you get nine different eyeshadows in here you get two metallics and the rest of them are matte so right off the bat you guys already know this palette is up my alley you guys know I love my matte shades you guys know I love my everyday shades so this palette is all up my alley and not only am I gonna be doing an eye look with this palette I'm actually gonna be using some of the shades in here to put on the face so if you're interested in seeing how I created this whole entire look using this everyday eyeshadow palette then let's go ahead and jump right in. So I want to start out with the swatches so you guys can see what these colors look like on me and how they swatch, the pigmentation and all of that good stuff. So this is what the palette looks like and to be honest I thought this palette was going to be way smaller than this. This is actually a really good size palette. Um, when you see it online and also like on their Instagram it looks like it'll be like this small. But when I got it in the mail, it was huge. So you do have a good size mirror on the inside. There is a mirror right there. I don't want to blind you guys. You guys can see my mess right there. It's not dirty. It still has that clear seal over it because I haven't taken it out yet. But then you have all nine of your eyeshadows right here. So as you can see, these are pretty much everyday colors, which is why they call it their everyday eyeshadow palette. You can actually create like a nice, soft, everyday look with this palette. You can do some smoky eyes. Um, so this is definitely a palette for the everyday girl. If you don't like colorful eyeshadows and you like those everyday warm tone shadows, then this palette is definitely good for you. So I work my way from the bottom up with the swatches. We're gonna start out with this one right here. There is that shade, as you can see, super pigmented. Get it right beside it. It's right there. Oh, and by the way, you are getting two metallic shades in this palette, and the rest of the shades are matte. So these two shades right here are metallics, and I'll swatch one of those so y'all can see. So here is one of the gold metallic shades in the palette. Super, super pretty, super pigmented. And what I also like about this palette is since the pans are so big, you can dip your brush in the pans to use it as a blush, a contour shade, a highlighter shade, which I think I'm gonna do for this video. So I'm not gonna only focus on an eyeshadow look, I'll also try to use it as a highlighter and also a bronzer. And going into this next metallic color, And next we have this really pretty chocolate brown, very dark. What I've noticed with these shadows after playing with them all week long is when you apply them, they look darker than they do inside the pan. So once you apply it on the skin, it seems like they show up darker, which I think is kind of weird. So this shade that I just swatched is actually this middle shade right here. So it definitely looks way darker on the skin than it does inside the, um, the palette. So next we're gonna swatch this one right here. So 
There's that one. That's a really pretty mustardy color. All right, so, so far we've already swatched six of the shades in the palette and those are the ones on the bottom. So the bottom row and also this middle row. So there they are swatched as you guys can see. Now moving on to the very top row, we're gonna swatch these three shades. So there's that shade right there. And this middle shade, which is my favorite. This color right here is what I've been wearing um, a lot in this palette, this one right here. I've actually been dipping into this one more than I have the other ones. It's so freaking beautiful and so pigmented and so soft. Some of these shadows on this palette have different ingredients in them and they do have um, the ingredients on the back of the box that they came in. And it tells you at the very bottom right here, so it says the colors and also what ingredients are in those shadows. And now going into the very last shade. So there's that one right there. So here's a side-by-side -side view of the swatches in the palette. So as you can see, the colors are super super pigmented they're very very smooth you do have a lot of kick up in some of the shades in here and like i said some of these have different ingredients in them um but you are going to experience um a lot of kick up in some of these shadows all right so now that you guys see all of the shades swatched we can go ahead and go on to the tutorial i'm gonna try to recreate the look that i had on in one of my recent videos i forgot which video it was but i really like that look so i'm gonna try to recreate it with this palette the shades in here are very similar to the shades that were on the eyes in that video i forgot which video it was but i had like the metallic on the eyes kind of like a, a semi-cut crease and i also want to try to use a color in here as my bronzer or like as a contour shade and also use a color in here as my highlighter so we're gonna put this palette like to good use in this video so let's go ahead and get started all right so starting out with the eyes first i'm gonna take this shade right here as my transition color and i'm gonna lightly tap my brush in it because it is so pigmented you don't want to swirl your brush around in any of these shades in this palette so just lightly tap your brush in it and just lightly blend it in the crease so you can already see that color that's just how pigmented these shadows are. I'll take a little bit more and work it in the crease some more. All right, now that that is blended out, I do wanna say that these blend out very easily on the eyes, so this palette is definitely beginner friendly. You don't have to take a lot of product on the brush because it is super, super pigmented. You do get a little fallout though, so just keep that in mind, but as far as how they blend, they blend out really, really good on the eyes. So now I wanna go into, I guess I'm gonna go into this metallic shade right here. And I'm gonna take my Sigma concealer brush. This is the F70. So I'm just gonna lightly swipe it in that shade. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does pick up a lot of product. And what I'm gonna do is apply this before I spray my brush. So you guys can see how it looks, you know, on the eyes if you don't spray your brush with any Fix Plus or anything, you know, like a makeup setting spray or anything like that. So. Let's go ahead and apply this on the eyes so y'all can see the pigmentation. So as you can see, you definitely don't need to spray your brush with this shadow because it does pick up a lot of product and you don't necessarily have to spray your brush if you don't want, but I'm just gonna stop in the middle. I'm not gonna drag it all the way over because I want this look to be a smoky look. So I'm gonna go in with a darker shade on the outer corner and just kind of smoke it into that shimmer. But this is, you know, what it looks like without wetting the brush. So you guys see, it's not super, super bright, but if you want it to look super bright, you can definitely spray your brush um, with some makeup setting spray. So now I wanna go back over it. I'm gonna dip back into that same color we used and just lightly spray my brush. Lightly, like not a lot, that's enough. Now taking one of my pencil brushes, this is from my brush set, which by the way, you guys, my set is currently half off right now. I'll have all the information down below so you guys can um, check that out, but 
we're running a really good promotion right now so definitely get them for half off and it's free shipping as well yeah but anyway i'm gonna take this and dip it in to this dark burgundy shade right here just lightly dip it in there and i suck at cut creases so i kind of you know kind of do it the easy way so i just pretty much go into the crease with this darker shade i know this is not how you're supposed to do it but honestly there's no rules to make up but i just lightly blend that dark shade into the crease very very lightly above that metallic shade that we put and just lightly place it in my crease and that kind of just creates a cut crease in an easy way <laughs> and taking that first brush that i use just lightly blend it so it won't look too harsh right there now taking that black shader brush that we use to apply that metallic and kind of go over where we messed up a little bit but yeah this is how I've been doing my cut crease looks lately because I suck at them and I feel like this is so much easier doing it this way now taking that same brush that we used before, we're going to dip back into this dark shade right here, which is one of my favorite shades in this palette. But I'm going to do it super light because it is so dark and pigmented and just place it on the outer part of my eye and kind of blend it in to that shimmer shade. Now to darken up the crease just a little bit more, I'm gonna go back into this dark plum, lightly tap my pencil brush in it and lightly line my crease at the top, very lightly. Just to give it more depth. All right, so this eye definitely looks better than this one, but we're gonna keep going. Now going into the gold metallic shade, I'm gonna place this on the inner corner of my tear ducts and I'm gonna wet my brush to do this because I want it to pop a little bit more. Oh, Ooh, that looks good. We're definitely gonna use that as my highlight today. Like, whoa. All right, so this is pretty much all I'm gonna do for the top of the eyelid. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of eyeliner and blend out my bottom lash line using that same color we use to smoke out the eye, which is this really pretty dark um a plum shade so i'm just gonna blend it out down there put on some false lashes and i'll be right back all right so my eyes are finally done now let's try to use this palette for more than what it's supposed to be used for it's actually really funny because i did upload a picture of this palette last night on my um on the community tab and one of my subscribers mentioned that i should try to wear it as a bronzer like one of the shades in here as a bronzer so we're gonna try out the middle shade right here since it did swatch darker on my hand than it does appear in the palette i'm thinking it'll be good as a contour shade on me so let's try it out I'll take my angled contour brush to do this with lightly tap it in there first and then see how it looks mm, it's actually showing up really nice it blend out really nicely too Ooh, okay I know this brush is not used to bronze up or contour the sides of your nose, but I just take the edge of it and lightly go down the side of my nose. All right, so this definitely does not look bad as a bronzer on the face. So kudos to my subscriber who um, said that I should try it as a bronzer. So kudos to you, girl, because it does look really, really good. And actually, I'll tell you guys exactly who... Um, suggested it as a bronzer on me so let me see if I can find her okay so Jody Ann C she said I'd love to see you use it as a contour palette as well and I said that would be interesting I'll try it out which you guys see it definitely works so kudos to you girl for suggesting that for me but um yeah so this is the post that I put on my um, my YouTube last night now for the highlight I want to take this um, shade right here. I don't know if I want to take this one or this one. This is the one that I put on the inner corner of my tear ducts. And this is the one that's all over the lid. I don't know. 
Let's try the lighter shade first. Oh, I did forgot to put some blush on. Let me put blush on first. I'm gonna use my Sephora um, Market Spice, Spice Market Blush Palette and just go into um, this shade right here for that. Use that really quick. All right, so let's see how this highlight is gonna work. I have not tried this out before, so let's see. So you obviously can use this palette more than just an eyeshadow palette. It's definitely a good face palette. Y'all. I'm actually gonna take three different lip products that I've been using a lot recently. So the lip liner I'm using first is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. This is in the shade Rosewood. I've been using this a lot, y'all, like a lot. It is so good. It twists up, so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. It pretty much just glides on. It does have a shiny um, finish, but it's not super, super shiny. It's, it's like it says, it is a gel lip liner. Now taking my Elle Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Praline and putting this just um, on the center of the lips. Let that dry a little bit. And then taking my Sephora Lip Stories Lipstick in the shade Yum Yum, this is a brown, and just applying that on top. All right, you guys, so that completes this video. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you tried out this palette, let me know your thoughts on it. And also, if you've been wanting to, you know, try out a good palette that has all your warm tones, your neutrals, your everyday shades, and not only just use it as an eyeshadow palette, but as a face palette as well, then definitely check this out. I'll have um, the information down below in my description. I just definitely wanted to share this palette with you guys. And also, for those of you who are not familiar with this brand, and if you have been on the hunt for some good everyday everyday warm like nude lip glosses and lipsticks definitely check them out because you like you will find a perfect nude lip on that site you don't have to pair any of their nude products with a lip liner which is amazing so definitely check them out if you have not already and yeah so I think that is everything I have for this video if you enjoyed it make sure you thumbs it up for me and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Thank you.